Ish. Yo, let's hope that the network will be good. And just as I'm saying that, then it does what it does. Um, but I might have very good news for you guys. Next week, I hope from next week, our lives are going to be a lot better. I've at least found like a space to work from. So I think I'm going to stay there and work until I'm done, you know, with the lives. So, um, Togozani, I'm Gogo Lerato. I'm Gogo Kanda Lembube. It's Wednesday. Let's read the Bible scripture and then we're going to go into today's class. It's going to be a little bit of, a little bit complicated, but I think I'm going to continue with this next week. Um, yeah. Nesiki Levitz, I wanted to do something else, but you know, I remembered now that, okay, we've got to do this. Um, okay, let's read the Bible. Oh, bitulanta te la morale me halang amen. Bona la morena. Ke wona moya wa motho. Le bonisa bokahari ba pelo ya motho. Wow. Khosi e sireletswa ke le rato le botshepehi. Ke roni ya yona e tsitsiswa ke le rato. Amen. All right. I'm not even going to go ga gholo because I feel like these scriptures are relevant. Um Hey. All right, uh, at a rappelling, and then we start today's class. Togozani. All right. Ntatar nama hodimong, bito lao lha letwe, hote muswa hao, tatwe tel fatsin jwa lukaito lho dimong. Orfe ka jene bobe borle kane baza stimilin. Ure tsvara li mele torna jule ko ro tsvara la bara si teluang. Use re simu le ko mirula ni huye mubi. Ubani muso kwa hao le mata la kanya la kha jwa le ka osa feeling. Jeso kreste ya mata wotle wena kanya la fatwe na rubu le landi tela. Rame mamu na mure na mudimi ya mata wotle. Kalibiza bongo kuli munda tume huli ba makubeti ba mchali ba bakhasi ba kufua. Kalibiza kwa fela mani leo kutoa nzima nzima le fasi. Kalibiza wana nta tume muda muda kalibiza wana mewa le watu. Lera tume pili kaje no hube wana chuo wa fai bilenzo la ole tabuwa. Kalibiza la le matla Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Um. Ah, koko rebe tu. Um. I actually opened my Facebook what what today, so um you guys will be able to see from them. And then before I start the live, I'm still we are still on for the seminar. Seminar it was a hala baholo. Like I don't know. Kirata kisarat. Kinin ziki tapa tapa witi king. I've been going everywhere trying to get um a venue. And like I said, for those who would like to come, worst case scenario, little tamokal tenville. Worst case scenario. I was really hoping to get something a little bit central for everyone, but hey, barle bona la ruka shapa nasku kili one, it must happen. All right, so venue for Easter weekend, either Good Friday or the Saturday or the Sunday, but I will let you guys know like before the end of this week. Um, what's what? Okay. Are again into today's very interesting topic. I didn't know how I wanted to structure it. Um. But I think a nice point of departure would be sporofito. I mean, why do people trust us sporofito? You know, we've we've seen it a lot. Even I've said it. It's too nyo gashle gashle asi twasiwa. You think about it ndawa a twasiwi. Mlozi a twasiwi. So that basically leaves umguni. Utansa twasiwi. Or your cultural ancestors. So... That being said, um, why then would we need Hutasa Sporofeto? Or, you know, we'll say Upagamisa is Tunya. We call it in many different ways. Um, and not Ibe just a naturally occurring gift, according to what I, I mean I'm saying, you know, and what we are all saying. Is Tunya is a naturally occurring gift. Uh, and I've spoken about this many times. But again, what I want to do today is sort of um, reiterate the initial lessons that I would give, that we are all the differentiations of God. So let's let's look at that from a, from a species point of view and not from a spirit point of view. Okay. As being a differentiation of God um, as a species, people, right? We've, we all agree that we've got the spirit of one God. So why is the spirit of one God not functioning 
the way it does in each of us? The answer is actually very simple. The answer is that because we are differentiations, right? The answer also is that it's not necessarily that the spirit of God within each of us or this differentiation makes there's, there's a, there's that um, it doesn't function in all of us. It does. It does. Um, is Tunya functions throughout the world, almost subliminally. And here's a practical example of is Tunya and how it works and how it actually functions in all of us, right? In this world, we say that we attract what we are. The law of attraction is Tunya at work. When you are in a bad place, chances are you will attract somebody else in a bad place. And then you all will be bad to each other, right? And just escalate that. So Tunya is working because Tunya now, like I said previously, it does not judge to say what is right or wrong. Tunya does not have that. Mlozi also does not have that. Ndao is a cause and effect law. So Ndao, well, yene leneke choice. Right. Another place where you see um, Stunya functioning in each of us is where you see where we use words like destiny. Right. Destiny means as I go out to the shop to buy food, um, the person who I delay on the road. Because I was listening to loud music. Um, and get driver ka eat. I do this a lot. Get driver ka eat. And the guy behind me is really upset. Because I mean, they're like, can this woman drive ka eat? Can this woman drive ka hundred? All right. That person that I've delayed may be angry with me. A, I'm not considering him. In my idea of driving slowly. So Stunya seems in isolation. That's where the differentiation part starts. Now I'm doing this for me. Because I want to listen to music slow. And that person behind me is driving really slow as well. And they're really upset. But. But guess what? There is a pedestrian. Um, who, who's now. Who's, whose life has been saved. By me driving ka eight. Because guess what? That person could have driven there and bumped into him. That person driving behind me could have had a negative karma, karmic debt. The pedestrian could have had karmic debt, right? I could also have karmic debt in the sense that this annoyance that I'm actually, you know, giving this man or this person behind me, um, that person could easily just drive in front of me and stop relying right? The black semen. So Stunya sort of is like the glue that ties all of our events together, right? That is a very important lesson in understanding how right? Once you understand that lesson, right? You understand that now in actual fact, what you would call or intuition is actually just tapping into Mlozi energy. Whether you're using your intellect or logic, right? Or your spirituality. It doesn't matter because now you, let's say an observer, you would be standing on the side of the road and you're watching all of this happening, right? You would get the full picture. Right. So Stunya is kind of like the snapshots the generation. Or the days of our lives. You when Malena had that demon problem. We were all like, no, Stefano Timera, don't go there. Right? So just like you see a series, as you watch even a movie, the jumping phases of time, time and space goes to your is are no longer are not important. Right, just like what you see in the real world, in a movie, in a series, they're jumping time and space. 
right? They're showing you different snippets of what is happening at different places. And these snippets look totally unrelated, but only at the end of the movie for you to understand. So Stunya is like a thriller, right? It's like, it's like, yeah, it's like a thriller. It's like watching a movie. Where Namutu, who's been gifted Gastunya, which is all of us, by the way, you cultivating the gift, yes, Tunya, means that you get to give a commentary on somebody else's life based on the scene that you watched. Isn't that interesting? So I'm, I'm going to just take this to the biblical sense as well so that you guys understand. I know what I'm saying sounds a bit crazy, right? So Tunya actually speaks to revelation. And revelation speaks to truth, but there is no truth, Mulifat Singh. Truth is subjective. So Stunya speaks to your understanding of the world. And the moment you enter your understanding of the world, you are now looking at Mlozi energies. You are now looking at Mlozi energies because now Mlozi says, everything works together for the good of those who love the Lord. Who doesn't love the Lord? And who loves him? We don't know. We don't see him. Right? So that is actually what that scripture meant. That everything in this universe happens as it should. Right? You are, you are, you are only the prophet tapping into a particular philosophy. Stunya is actually a, a, a combination, an aggregate of philosophies. That is why Stunya does not care or do you believe in Ubungoma or in ancestral spirits or in Jesus or in Buddha. Stunya doesn't care because it is an aggregate of philosophies meant to give you a, a particular point of view based on what you see. Right? So I would suppose the word see would be what we're saying, third eye. But actually, see in the beginning, how to tell us more of it. C is not even the third eye. C are the two eyes that you've got. To be able to open up your third eye, you need to open up these two that you've got. But to my nephew, wait, my nephew, Mara, I'm telling you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm being tested. My Stunya is testing me right now with him. Right. So, Stunya, does it take precedence over other spirits? No. Right. We can never assume a hierarchy of Stunya because we can never even assume the hierarchy of the universe. Right? The Stunya does, however, is like your first contact with the spirit world. First and biggest. If Stunya was a person, it would be Jesus. Because Jesus is the only one who said to have been made by the word in the beginning. Before he was there, he was there in the spirit, then came as flesh, right? To be able to give us forgiveness of sins and salvation, right? But how? Because this person dies, Aliwani, and then generations before him are saved by his blood. And at a later stage, generations later are also saved by his blood. Jesus Christ is a Stunya concept. The concept of a Christ is actually um, a universal lesson. More than the person who came and walked this earth, it is the principle of the Christ. It is the Christ and not the Jesus that makes him important. Remiza Jesu. But he's important because of the Christ. Right? So Stunya um, is now the concept we will call this them word made flesh. Now, if Stunya is the spirit world coming into the tangible, it is taking from the spirit from what you cannot see, what you've got no proof of, right? And applying into and projecting actually into the physical, then most definitely you will need these two eyes. Why? Because you have them. And because these are the two fleshly eyes. Stunya now says, on earth as it is in heaven, that part of the Lord's prayer speaks to Stunya. 
You can never apply stunya. You can never apply a prophetic gift if you don't think that the spiritual world and the physical world they mirror each other. That is why Batobana links tunya batanza by committing. That is why it is only a person who's got a strong stunya can use spili. I've heard people say horokonali spili ungaka spili. Um, you can use muriana for spili. It's not meant to be like that. Spili is but a mirror. Right? And only Istunya can help you to use that. Right? But now, because we are saying on earth as it is in heaven, we are taking again a spiritual place and connecting it to a physical place. Right? And not only connecting spiritual to the physical, not only that, altering the physical from the spiritual. Right. So what is the fundamental of Stunya? The word. That is why the word. Right. Stunya now reaches into the innate part of God's personality that chooses to differentiate itself into each and every living being. Stunya uses the same concept. Stunya uses the same concept. So, how I mean, I've, I've heard people say this to me. Um, and probably my twasas, they'll tell you. I Google a lot of stuff. I read a lot. Right? I read a lot. I Google stuff. Another person could tell you that Lerato is, a, is an intellect. Some people, they would assume what I'm telling you guys from an intellectual point of view. And that I've Googled. Fair enough. It could be like that. Because intellect does feed this tunya. The brain and what you feed it is the on earth. And tunya would be in heaven. So the brain, your intellect would be able to donza that spirit. Duh. Why? Because now, Castunia, you don't use an actual bone. So every information that you need is in here. Yes. So another person could say, I am a brilliant Ngag because I am learned, but actually not. Intelligence or reading, right? Only, only is intelligence is the highest earthly form of your mind so intelligence would be like the heaven part of the earth intelligence would be like the crown chakra of the baby right hence yeah that's what intelligence would be right spirituality now would be with that intellect or that knowledge is translated in such a way that you can exchange energy with other people and alter how they see the world. In Bokoko Nabomkulu, there is nothing like seeing the world in a different way. And that is why Jesus said, all this that I do, you shall do and more if you believe in me. Right. Why? Because he knew that he is a Stunya principle. We've got no real proof that there was a Jesus. We don't know his siblings. We don't know anything about him. Yet the lessons that he has given and his miracles, they remain so popularized. Right. They remain so influential. And I feel almost from a Stunya or from a Mlozi point of view, it is on purpose. That this man is turning water into wine. Something that we cannot do today. Right? The point of a Jesus was to show the possibility. The point of Istunya is to show you the possibility. So that is why when you've got a Istunya gift, you need not necessarily ubemuporofita in the room or in the ndumba. You can't go and work. Right? You can't go and be in the world because Tunya actually, again, right? Possibilities. So that's the word. That's the English word for Tunya, possibilities. 
So, okay. So, as a profit, yang. When I'm a profit who's been given a gift, the first thing that you need to do to... Eh, toko zain bo koko na bom kolu. Netweke yare, yare paezi, sa wits. You, mo profit, the first thing that you need to do to be able to use this stunya prophetic gift is to meditate. I know. I mean, we're like, how? Like, how? Okay. I'm going to tell you guys what I did for a number of years. And I was not even aware that I was meditating. Right? So before you can try to reach into the spiritual, because the Lord's prayer says on earth as it is in heaven, it means you can do something in the practical that's going to change things in the spiritual. All right. And this is the this is how to meditate. This is how to meditate, especially when you're starting out on your journey. Right. So this is what I used to do. I would lie down on my bed. So I don't sit crossing my feet. Next time, see we were supposed to do that. And what I would do is just slowly as I drift away into my sleep. It, it, this will happen, but you will sleep. You will sleep. Is um start from my toes and ask my toes, okay, is there any pain? Is there any discomfort? Feel them, just shift my mind there. And if my toes, well, I'd assume my toes have got a voice, right? My toes say, no, we are sharp. I would move up to my ankles, right? And I'm not moving them. I would lie on the bed and I would go up to my ankles, then my knees. Am I feeling any discomfort, right? Anything. It could be anything. It could be a vibration. It could be anything, right? And I would move up that way. By the time I get to my, to my heart, because I had a lot of emotional problems, I had a lot of issues um, with my parents, with all of that. Hangat, I would get like heavy chest and I would ask my heart, what is wrong? I still do this today. And I would sort of allow my heart to sort of say, well, you know, reach on it, dude. And I'd say, okay, but wait, that's not you, heart. That's brain. Brain, shut up. Heart, what's your problem? And for some reason, the answer would eventually come. Whatever the problem was, I don't feel loved. I don't know who I am. That was the most typical answer that my heart would give me. I don't know what love is. You know. And I'd say, okay. Uh, because I don't know also how to help you. I've heard you and I'm going to note it down. So I would go right up until there. And by the time I get to my mind, I say, okay, mind, what is your biggest problem? Return it today. And I would actually train my mind. Don't ever tell me the same thing every day. Or it broke. Right? I can promise you, by the end of this exercise, even halfway, you will be fast asleep. It is purposeful. Because now for the first time, you are being cognitive of your body. In actual fact, if you think of this exercise, your toe, your ankle, your hand, your arm, your what, your chest, your mouth, your what? Right? Another thing that would always come to me by the time I'm done, you will try to do this for a few times, but Coco, you'll sleep, right? With time, you, you will go through your whole body. And then eventually, I would come to the saying that on this bed that my body lies is nothing but energy. There is no bed. The bed is created by the word. The bed is created by the word. This bed could be as comfortable or as uncomfortable as I want it to be. And you will, you will start to feel the tension from your body release itself. Right. The next thing that you need to do when you are trying to live from the from earth from heaven from earth until and into heaven look be observant be observant you know people will try to tell me like i'm saying people will say maybe kibadi for the few people who've had readings with me they'll tell you i'm a good prophet i try 
right? I'm now able to perceive things. Why? I created the language. Liba dimu. Or with the spirit guides. Right. And most of the time, that is why they bring you dreams that are riddles. It is not because they're trying to be difficult and because they don't want to tell you how to do things. It is because they want the physical, the earthly mind, right, to wreck itself up, to go up in circles, because those circles is where now the mind starts now to, to, to search to, to learn to focus and search for a particular thing. That is called infilo. That's it. When you go into other, they say infilo. Infilo. That's where now your mind is starting to learn to come out of what you are in the present moment and to come out of what you are worrying about in the present moment. And it starts to search for meanings behind meanings. Right? It's very important for your dreams to be complicated. Not only because Badimbao are trying to protect you from vultures, right? But like I said initially, the only thing that a prophet does is through their own perspective of life, advise the next person. Moporofeta is actually a glorified psychologist. We are psychologists. We probably, gen Stunya probably generated psychology. We create that shit. We create that stuff, right? Why? Because now we connect from the psycho spiritual, right? And we come up with with um with um theories that now start to say, okay, this is what you should do. So I I, uh, I just want to say this in passing. I had um a white friend, a Wiccan friend. He was a Wiccan priest. I didn't know what Wicca is like. It's profit. I didn't know that. Right. Um, yeah. And as we were, we were conversing over the years, one time he said to me, oh, I was, I was, you know, cause he worked, he had a job, you know, at a, at a post office. He had no problems with his job. And I remember asking him that, you know, do you charge for consultation? And he said, no, I don't. And I said, but you know, I'd love to come and consult. I don't see why you don't. And he said to me, I was informed by my spirit guides that in a previous life, um, I had killed a lot of people. So as a comic debt, I am now helping to heal people for free. What? So there was, a, in my head, I'm thinking, and he's like, yes, so I'm paying a debt um, of a previous life. And I'm unlearning, you know, the habits from that life. Okay. And then he said to me, but you can give me an offering of something that is living. Living, flowers, fruits, an animal, even a pet. And as I was driving home, I realized those are the very same things that we give for Stunya or for Sporofito. Flowers, fruits, a living thing. And at no point for you to have stunya, do you need to kill the animal? Because he said that Wiccan priest said he wanted the, a pet. I wanted to bring him a chicken. He said, I was not, I don't need to kill it. Uh, it's going to be my pet chicken. I was like, that is very interesting. So, Tafule Yaba Porofeta actually is an offering of something living. We are actually paying back a past life debt too. From a Stunya point of view, maybe you were the problem. Maybe you were the, you were the ancestor. Maybe you're the one who did the bad things and you're doing this to help others today. That was very interesting. I found that remarkable. But what he went on to say was what changed my life. He just said to me, you must remember as a Wiccan priest, your job is only to look into the very near future of somebody based on their current actions and help them to choose a different cause. 
When I went home, my Lozi said to me, this guy has just described to you why, why good things and bad things happen to you. And then you guys say it's destiny. This guy has just described to you the potential of God in a person. How? How? You must remember the source does not choose to differentiate itself or its purpose. It doesn't. What the source only does is differentiate itself externally, right? And then gives the onus, you, the external figure, co-creator, gives you the opportunity to make certain choices, free will. And based on that choice, the source only then gives the highest result from that choice. Back to what I said, Bokokunabomkulu. There will always be karma. There will always be karma. So what that man was saying is that how perfect. You don't need to see a year from now. You don't even need to see a year from before. You don't. You can just listen to this person telling you what's happening in their life. And from there, help them to choose a different path. But because now, Wayne, as an individual, you have got your own perception on life. Then Stunya, what it does, or Mlozi, what Mlozi does, is apply the law of attraction. Like attracts like. You will always be brought patience. That's the secret behind Hoporofit. And if you are always going to be brought patience, it means that seporofito is subjective because truth is subjective. So seporofito, you can never really lie. Can't. I know a lot of you, um, and I've seen it also with my twasas, people struggle with this. People maybe even look at me and forget that I have been practicing just saying what I think. In that moment, I've been practicing this for nearly four years now. Three years, three, four years. Right. I've been practicing that. And Lidi Toro, because I had no one to, to decipher my dreams, the riddle, it's just a mystery. What your Josi and your Stunya and your Mlozi and your Mdao do is take it from earth into heaven. When people talk about chakras and going into dimensions, it is just many different levels of going into from earth into heaven. That's it. Heaven and earth are both relative. We do not know how many heavens there are. We do not know how many earths there are. So in actual fact, what you call your highest self could be the lower self of the next higher self, which is true. And that would answer the question. Who are the parents of God? I used to ask my mom that question. Don't ask God that question. Who are his parents? It is a question from a child's mind, but it is a valid question. A question that says, but there is a hierarchy. Right? There is no way the source would not experience itself in every level. There's no way. Could there be a way that God... Has got his God? Yes. The source should create itself that way. If I were the source, that's what I would want to do. I would not want to just expand myself going into nature and what is seen, seen and creation. I would definitely want to expand myself going higher up. What if Seporofito is actually the unit? This, the differentiation of God realizing itself in a grander and more magnificent way. What if that's all it is? What if that's all it is? And Boko Konabomkul, I'm going to tell you now, I think, let me just check the time. I'm going to tell you next week. Why then? Because realizing the grander self of you realizing the earth into heaven it's so easy for us to talk about heaven when we are here right 
as an event that's coming after here. The problem is that we are not acknowledging that the source, what we call God, is experiencing its heaven right here. I mean, Jesus Christ could have stayed, right? And said, everyone's forgiven. He is the word after all. He didn't need to be here. But this combination of spirit and body and purpose is the exact proof that shows us that earth is heaven. Heaven is earth. And if you also think about Badimu Barona and some of our parents who have died and how they were, that they come back now and they give us lessons in a grander version of themselves, right? So earth is heaven. Heaven is earth. In actual fact, between the spirit world and the physical world, the only difference is these two eyes and not even that one eye. By the time you inherit that one eye, the third eye, by the time you inherit that third eye, these two eyes have seen a lot. These two eyes have gone through a lot. So in actual fact, it's easy. The only difference is, that is why Peli, if you don't want to toss us to you, it's okay. Go through the physical experiences of your life in this world, in this realm, right? Go through all sorts of crap. And that will, that will fit as your tossing process. That is why Peli is and is a right? Because people would go through the natural progression of life and life on its own from a Mlozi point of view would bring that individual experiences that give them different types of points of view, right? And when those people come and they give us this gift, whether that person in Ilimutu Wabadimu or not, that individual can choose to come back and give you this gift based on their own reflections on earth as it is in heaven, right? Jesus as well came and embodied this physical reality, right? Based on his own reflections. We can say what we want to say, right? Um, he decided to make water into wine. And already live all those things. But most importantly, the mission of Jesus was not just the death. The death was his evolution. Jesus' death was his evolution. Was the evolution of Stunya in Tumdao in Tumlos. It was him ascending, right? It had nothing to do with us. His life was his teachings. And it is from his teachings that he says, this you can do. Because the teachings now become the precursor. The experience of life becomes the precursor of, of, of his eventual ascension. <coughs> so that is why, the identity crisis, the emptiness, the who am I? The feeling like you don't fit into this world and that you're a failure. It is important. It is important because now, for the first time now, you are going to realize in the beginning was the word that everything from who you thought you were, from who you even think you will be, is in the word. And the word shall be made flesh. So what do you do? And you ask her, can you breathe the word, the blessing into me? Why? Because you have experienced every perspective of life. So in, in, on, in a technique, on a technicality, every single one of us, Onaling, their mom, their grandmother, Opilang, actually should be going to them as a Kobela. Because they have twice at Istunia. So yeah, then we'll start to try to fill things out. All right. What I wanted you guys to get today was that Siporofeto can need the badass in it. Why? Reality is true, but not. 
there is no reality. Reality is but a substance of your understanding, right? And that's what we call it, what? Faith? Faith. Faith. Reality and faith are the same thing. Faith is the substance of things that are unseen. Reality is also largely unseen. Because what we say that we see, what we understand of what is around us, right, has helped us or has made us to create personalities. But in actual fact, the houses, the cars, the whatever, the candles even, none of that speak anything. Everything in this world, it does what it does. Candle cannot be anything but that, right? A, a, a sniff cannot be anything but that. But we take all of these, right? And we create intent out of them, right? Based on what? On faith. Because, well, somebody said, hey, this formula has worked for me. But we don't know that. You don't, we don't even know or Madros, Keboma. Right? We don't even know who Jesus is. Aram And our great great grandmothers. But because, because we don't know that it is from that place of emptiness, where now you can fill that gap with whatever you like. And what you say now does not die. The Bible says that God says, my word shall not leave and come back to me void. That is a very powerful lesson. If God's word, and not come back, it means that even our words are forever. In actual fact, if you really think about it, the, the reality, the reality that we call now is really a collective of words. That's really what it is. A language.